This video will show you how to use object snaps and object snap tracking to help create precise drawings in AutoCAD LT. Let's start with object snaps. Using object snaps is the easiest way to specify an exact location on an object without having to use coordinates. For example, you can use object snaps to draw a line to the exact center of a circle, to the end point of another line segment, to the tangent on an arc. You can specify an object snap whenever you are prompted for a point. When you move your cursor over an object, an active object snap point is identified with auto snap markers and tooltips. If two possible snap locations are close together, like the mid and end points of this square, you can use the tab key to cycle through the available object snaps until you see the one you want. Once you have specified an object snap, you can use the cursor to select that location. At any prompt for a point, you can specify a single object snap by holding down shift, right clicking, and choosing an object snap from the object snap menu. For example, I can choose quadrant to snap to a quadrant of the circle. To use the same object snap repeatedly, you can set it as a running object snap. To do this, right click on the object snap icon of the status bar and select the snap you want. It will then stay active until you turn it off and you won't need to open the right click menu to use it. You can also right click on the status bar icon to turn off running object snaps one at a time. If you want to set more than one object snap, select settings from the status bar right click menu. In this dialog box, you can check or uncheck as many object snaps as you want in one step. A quick note about nearest, I don't recommend using it as a running object snap since it's easier to accidentally use it instead of a more precise snap, like endpoint or midpoint. Object snap tracking creates temporary alignment paths based on object snaps. You can use object snap tracking anytime you're prompted for a point. To use it, hover over an object until the object snap icon and name appear. Then, without clicking, move your mouse away from the object. A small cross is left behind, and a dotted line shows the temporary tracking vector. You can acquire up to seven points at a time, although you probably won't use them all at once. Once you've acquired a tracking point, you can use it just like you would polar tracking. Simply move the mouse in the direction you want to go and type in the number you want. For example, I can start the line five units to the left of the end point of the existing line by moving the cursor to the left of the end point until the dotted line appears, and entering 5 at the dynamic prompt, and pressing Enter. You can also use multiple tracking points to define a point. Let's say I want to end this line at the center of the rectangle. To do this, I will hover over the midpoint of one side until its object snap name appears, then hover over the midpoint of another side. I've now acquired two tracking points, and can move the cursor towards their intersection. When the two snap symbols and dotted lines appear, I can left click to end the line. Now you have seen how to use the object snap and object snap tracking functions, which are two ways to help you draw precisely in AutoCAD LT. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD LT.